Go ahead and just give me a once over of the bike on operations, where the choke's at, what the switches okay. do. Well, the choke was moved from the handlebars down to here. All right. It's got a 1950s uh, gas tank used for an oil tank. Rear sets are where the passenger uh, pegs go. It's got race shift on it, the hang on shocks, OEM front uh, brake shoes and rear brake shoes, new chain, new sprockets, pipes. Uh, guy out in California made them for me. Voltage regulator, they're relocated from under the seat, they're under the tail. It's a little nice, comfortable tail pad. <laughs> beautiful, no, it's fucking beautiful. Of course, man. Hagon shocks, rear set, redid all the brake or the uh, cables, sent out the Motion Pro and had them fully make custom lines for me. Um, Dingle two, pack cocks. Two high flows because it's got a high tunnel in it. Yes, sir. Inside the tank, uh, air tech streamlining. These were for Kawasaki. This was um, uh, maybe like a Triumph one. I thought it matched better. Oh, right, it looks Triumph, hell yeah. It, it matched the lines better. Uh, decals were from reproduction decals, now Diablo cycles. Um, nice rear sets. Yep, uh, the switches again. The switches again under here with the battery is an orange, is a yellow switch. Gotcha. That's the battery switch. Okay. And then, kind of hard to get to no, I, wanted it, about it. I wanted it theft proof <laughs> it's right here that's your battery switch you turn okay. it on and then the red one's your ignition switch yep and then the blue one is for lights if you want headlights i wanted it street legal Shit, yeah. <laughs> just it was plated titled uh new fork seals has an adjustable h1 uh uh, stabilizer on it because the stock one I got a tank wobble out of it um, stock gauges um, and fork seals um, pretty much everything on it's new took me about a year to build took down to the frame detabbed it built all the built all the mounts myself for the body work um, you did a good job, man. Pretty much spent me a year of, I tried to get the best stuff that I could get that I knew would fit. And uh, the only thing I didn't ever touch is, uh, I didn't touch the engine. Uh, I did put a clutch in it. Um, other than that, that's all that's done with And this engine. is an A7, right? That's an A7, yep. Avenger. Yep, the A7 Avenger 350. Fucking super. Uh, and it screams. This thing. Good. I, it, it screams. But you were telling me after it got gets warmed up. Yeah, after about 15 minutes, it's like it loses compression. Uh, the compression on it's good. I did a center crankshaft leak down test, and that was good. But once it cools off, after about 20 minutes, it starts right up, runs like a champ. So it's just kind of weird. I did put in new uh, head gaskets just, just in sure. case. Uh, one was warped, and I have other sets over there but that's really the only issue with it um i've been sitting in my garage for six or seven years just got out of bikes and just kind of been sitting in the back corner of my bike of my garage my last one beautiful